Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I did is I went to the store and I saw, happened to see this uh, silicone trivet. So it comes like this and you can put it down on your counter and put like a small pot and then it opens up to put your larger pot on top. So I thought this was pretty neat and I wanted to show you guys. So I'll be using this tonight and I'll let you know how it works out. I also happened to see this table runner. It's from the Pioneer Woman Collection. That's her butter dish. And the cream and sugar. So this is a nice runner. It goes well with my kitchen, all the colors. I also have her measuring cups. I think they're pretty neat. So she has a lot of interesting stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys what I just bought. Now I'll do a little update on the trees and the plants that I put in my yard. I got these elephant ears and they're really doing great. So I kind of planted them all over the place. And I moved some of my cactuses over here. You can see the but butterflies really love these plants. I believe they're called the Ruella. They're really pretty. I like the color purple. And here's my Christmas poinsettia. Here is the end of August. You can see how big it got. That's the red one. And there's the white one. And see how big this tree got. That's going to be the trumpet plant. It makes like an umbrella type tree. basil. And you can see how nice the grapes are growing. I have a couple of grapes right here. There's another one. And I have another cactus and the elephant ears. My plant that I did have here was a shrub and it died, so that's why I transplanted the cactus over here because you can see when it rains, all the sand just splashes up against the house. And the blueberry bushes are doing good. The raspberries have gone past. It's not raspberry season anymore. I have to wait till next um, March or April. But you can see new ones growing. And these grapes are doing good. See the Christmas poinsettia from this angle. elephant ears and that's some kind of palm I forgot sago palm and I transplanted this crepe myrtle it was doing good but I think since I transplanted it, it's like in shock so I'll leave it till next year if it doesn't grow then I'll just replace it lantana is coming in good I like the lantana because it's low plant and it kind of grows onto the ground. Looks pretty. The lime tree. And you can see how nice and big the loquat's getting. Looks good. And of course the lemongrass. More of them elephant ears. But it looks nice here with the cactus. I just got to come out here and weed.
the Meyer lemon. You can see how big that got. I'll trim the bottom this um, winter so that it kind of grows taller. And the muscovine grapes. You can see how nice they're really growing. It makes a nice wall. And the plum tree. It's growing good. The Macintosh apple. You can see some right up there. You can see the clump of them. So this is the Macintosh tree. And I planted a lot of hydrangeas. You can see how pretty they are. One of them has a flower on it. See how pretty they look? You can see how nice and big this orange tree got, and look at how many oranges are growing. We have so many of them, so I'll be making orange jelly. Growing nice and tall, that's what I like. There's one orange one way up there, I don't know if I can focus on it. It's kind of hidden, but it's way up there. It's one orange one. And this Dorset apple, all the apples I picked. I had about 20 of them. And the Florida peach tree. Nothing yet. Maybe next year. And this summer we painted our black, uh, fence black. Kind of protect it. You can see this crepe myrtle is doing really good. It's a nice pink one. I'll try to capture it, but there's like a big web right here and the spider is right in the middle of it. I don't know if you can see him moving. It's like a double web. The plumbagos, they're doing good. See how the fence looks painted? A lot of work because we had to pressure wash it, clean it, and then paint it. And here is the fig tree. They're holding up. This is a doing good here. Now the elephant here. And you can see all the low quads that I planted. Coming along good. And this is the smallest of them. So you can see how nice that looks. And the tree with the moss. The moss is pretty, but um, it does kill the tree. We cut down a lot of the moss. Can't help it, it blows from tree to tree. Cactuses are doing good here, and the um, pink magnolia. Coming in good. And here's a nice big sago palm. Crepe myrtles. And another loquat. 
I also bought this frying pan because I desperately needed one. The name of the pan is called The Rock. And so far, this is about the third time that I'm using the frying pan, nothing has stuck to it. Easy cleanup, everything. Underneath of that. So if you happen to see this pan at the store, I highly recommend purchasing this pan because it's really good. It's an 11 inch fry pan. That's what it was wrapped in. So I just wanted to show you that I do have a new frying pan. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make one of my family's favorite recipes. Give it a try. <laughs> <laughs>